Hi guys, this is Zuleika from Edureka. Today we're going to learn how to become a superhero. Just kidding. Now becoming a full stack web developer is no less than becoming a superhero. It involves continuous dedicated practice and a strong will to learn. With this in mind in today's session we're going to discuss how to become a full stack web developer. So let me run you through today's agenda. We're going to begin with what is full stack web development. Next we'll discuss the different layers of full stack web development. After that we'll look at the different types of web developers. Over here we'll discuss front end, back end and full stack web developers. Next we'll discuss a few reasons as to why you should practice full stack development. Once we're done with that we'll see how to become a full stack web developer. Over here we'll see what exactly a full stack web developer does. We'll discuss how the front end, back end and the database management works. All right. Now moving on we'll finally discuss some important web development tools and technologies that you must know in order to become a successful web developer. So guys I hope all of you are clear with the agenda without wasting any further time let's get started. So what is full stack web development? I'm sure you all must have heard of front end and back end web development but what is full stack web development? Now full stack web development basically involves front end and back end web development. It requires in-depth knowledge of the different scripting languages like HTML, JavaScript, CSS, which make the web look more interactive and alive. It also requires high-level programming languages such as Java, Python, and so on to code the server side. Apart from this, you also require experience in working with JavaScript frameworks like Node.js and libraries such as jQuery and so on. Now, in the further slides, I'll be covering the different aspects of becoming a full-stack web developer in depth. So stay tuned. So before we move on to what a full stack developer does and how a front end and back end developer works, let's look at the different layers of full stack. First, we have the presentation layer or the front end of the web. This layer helps you interact with the web, watch videos, perform actions like register to an online shopping site. So guys, whenever you surf a website, the different fonts, images and the content of the website forms the presentation or the front end of that website. So basically the design, look and feel of the web is accomplished with the help of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Then comes the logic layer or the back end layer. Now this layer forms a dynamic connection between the front end and the database. So every time you search the web, it's the logic layer that transmits your requirements to the database and returns what you searched for. All of this is powered by a web server. Now in order to get this layer working, it's important to know at least one of the programming languages such as Python, Java or C hash. Okay. Now lastly, we have the database layer. This layer is a massive warehouse of information. It contains a database repository which captures and stores information from the front end through the back end. Now a prerequisite over here is to have knowledge of how data is stored, edited, retrieved and so on. Languages such as MySQL, MongoDB are a must to know. Now let's look at the type of web developers. So guys, front-end developers are responsible for a website's look and feel. These developers must be masters at three main languages, which is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. They also need to be familiar with frameworks like Bootstrap, AngularJS and EmberJS, which make the website look more interactive and alive. Libraries like jQuery also help to package code into a lightweight and compatible form. Now moving on to the backend developers. Now the backend of a website consists of three components, the server, the application and a database. A backend developer creates and maintains the web server, application and the database which allows the front end of the website to operate. To make the server, application and a database to communicate with each other, backend developers use server side languages like PHP, Ruby, Python, Java and .NET to build an application. They also require to operate on tools like MySQL, SQL, MongoDB in order to fetch, store or edit data and then serve it back to the user in the front end. Now guys, this is how backend developers work. Now moving on to full stack developers. The term full stack developer was popularized in a meeting around eight years ago when Facebook announced that they are looking to hire only full stack web developers. Now basically a full stack developer should be knowledgeable enough to work on both the front end technology and the back end technology. So he needs to have an understanding of how the web works at each and every level, including setting up and configuring Linux or Windows servers coding server-side APIs, running the client side of the application by using JavaScript, 
and structuring and designing the web page with CSS and HTML. A full stack developer is like the jack of all trades. One must have enough knowledge to run both the client and the scripting side. Now let's discuss a few key points about why one must practice full stack web development. One of the reasons is the full stack developers can choose from a rich set of tools and technologies for creating and designing unique code. They are not restricted to a certain set of tools for development because there are n number of frameworks and libraries that will assist a full stack developer in achieving an effective web application. Now the next reason is design and development. Now one of the best things about working as a full stack developer is that you're not restricted to only development. As a full stack developer, you can design and style your application. And then if you're bored of designing, you can probably switch to your developer mode. Now developer skills come into handy when you want to create a functional and a bug free application. A full stack developer is basically a creative person who can both develop and design an application. So guys, I'm not going to lie to you. A full stack developer is like the Stephen Hawking's of web development. After mastering various scripting and programming languages and working alongside several frameworks and libraries, a full stack developer is no less than a master. Of course, one requires to have work experience and a lot of knowledge, but nothing is unachievable if you have the will to do it. Apart from that, a full stack developer is highly valued in all parts of the world. In the US, the average salary of a full stack developer is over $110,000. Not only in the US, all around the world, full stack developers are in high demand. Now that you have a basic understanding about what a full stack developer is, let's dive deep into how to become a full stack developer. Let's look at the responsibilities of a developer and what exactly does he do. All right. So guys, to begin with, you must have a decent understanding of how a website or a web application is built and what tools and technologies are used to do so. So let's begin with our front end web development. To master front end web development, you'll need to know many technologies, but the main technologies are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now HTML, which stands for hypertext markup language is the skeleton of every web page. It defines the structure of the web. Without it, the web would be as shapeless as a lump of clay. By using HTML, you tell the browser how you want your content to be structured by defining the different parts of a web page. For example, you define the content of your web page within HTML tags. Now these tags tell the browser which part are headings, body, sidebars and footers. This not only helps to structure the web page, it also lets you style each HTML element by selecting them and then adding different style parameters. Now CSS, which stands for cascading style sheets, is like the clothes we wear to look stylish and attractive. The HTML elements we define can now be styled using CSS. For example, you can change the color of the header, add and style various buttons. You can also use CSS to adjust the width of the HTML elements. You can style them by adding color and design. You can also play around with buttons and make them look colorful and attractive. So guys, you can style a web page in any way you want. CSS has thousands of styling functions which let you design and make a web page look like a beautiful painting. Next up is JavaScript. Now, before I get on with how full stack developers use JavaScript, it is important to understand how JavaScript works. JavaScript is basically a language of the web, which every browser, PC and mobile phone understands. Now, JavaScript can natively run on the browser. By natively, I mean that most of the web browsers like Google Chrome, Safari and Internet Explorer have a JavaScript engine embedded into their browsers. Okay. Now, this JavaScript engine interprets the JavaScript code so that it can run on the browser. So guys, this is exactly how JavaScript runs on the web browser. Now, where is JavaScript used? Now let's look at an example. So guys, when you're browsing on a web page, you come across many buttons. On clicking these buttons, some event occurs. Now JavaScript has event listeners which perform specific actions on the click of a button. Like for example, on the click of a button, another page might open up or a personal detail form can pop up. All of this is possible only through JavaScript. It is basically used to manipulate the HTML elements, add motions and graphics to them. So any sort of motion that you see on your web page is all JavaScript. Now that you have a good idea of how full stack developers work on the front end, let's look at the back end. Now when a user opens up a web page and clicks on a link or submits some form, or let's say he enters a URL, 
where does this data get stored and how does the browser return information to the user so basically the browser connects to a web server now a web server is just a computer running an application or a software that delivers resources to the web pages so guys when a web server receives a request for a resource it has to respond with that resource so how does it do that now basically back end developers program the web servers to respond with the right resources so the main aim of the web server here is to respond with the correct resources but where do they get these resources the web server is connected to a database which is continuously pulled on receiving some request so the role of a full stack developer here would be to create an application that fills a web page with the required resources by pulling data from the database now this application is programmed using server side languages like java python php node.js and the database is also programmed using languages such as mysql mongodb and sql so guys basically the back end of a web page is used to serve the required resources to a user so here we just discussed how the front end development is used to design the user facing part of a web page that lets us interact with the web page we also discuss how the back end is used to deliver a web page to the browser along with the requested resources which are retrieved from a database so guys this is what a full stack developer does he has to create both the front end and the back end of a web page all right now let's look at some of the important technologies and tools that a full stack developer must know first of all a full stack developer must choose a code editor that is best suitable for him there are hundreds of code editors out there Personally I switched between Visual Studio Code and Sublime Text. They are the most user friendly code editors but you guys can go ahead and choose whichever code editor you like. Now the second tool is a version control system. A version control system basically is used to keep a track of all the changes that you make to your code, files or any sort of documents. Now like the name suggests it creates versions of your code or your file every time you change something. So let's say that you created a web application and added an additional feature to it but for some reason this feature slowed down your website and you want to go back to the old version of your website so usually it is very hard to revert back to an older version but a version control system takes care of this because it has a track of all the code changes that you've made and it can easily revert back to any code change some of the popular version control systems include git and subversion Now guys there are thousands of javascript frameworks and libraries which will come handy during web development frameworks like node.js can help with back end development of a web page and javascript libraries such as jquery can help at the front end to design a web page then there is angular react backbone meteor which are all very useful to a full stack developer a full stack web developer is always familiar with a couple of javascript frameworks and the best part of these frameworks is that after learning javascript which you will definitely need while developing the front end they are very easy to understand next up we have http protocols now http is basically a stateless application protocol on the internet which allows clients to communicate with the server so basically it enables communication between the front end of your web page and the back end guys let me tell you that there are a lot of web developers out there who don't know much about http but it is quite essential to have an understanding about http and how the internet works it is also necessary to understand what is rest and why is it important in regards to the http protocol in web applications apart from all of this a full stack developer obviously needs to have prior knowledge about running the application on operating systems such as linux windows and so on because at the end of the day all of this is running on top of an operating system Also a lot of full stack developers have brushed up on various project management tools like Jira, Teamwork, Basecamp to effectively carry out the web development process. So guys becoming a full stack web developer requires good amount of effort and dedication. But is it worth all the effort? I would say definitely it is. It is the most value designation and once you practice full stack web development you'll become a master of the web. And at Edureka we provide a full stack web development course that has all the required tools and technologies that you need to learn and we also make sure that you don't just learn it you master it so guys if you're interested in learning the full stack web development master course or any other trending technologies let us know in the comment section and we'll get back to you at the earliest so guys thank you so much for watching this video have a great day i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video 
Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!